Right, first of all, before I get started, I gotta thank everyone who apparently thinks I'm special enough to have watched The Avengers a week before it comes out in the country of our forefathers, the US of A in which I live. That being said, I'm not special. The Avengers comes out next week in America, I get to see it next week, I will review it by next weekend. Until then, I will try to entertain you with reviews for popcorn flicks like the movie Safe. <laughs> I like saying it all epic like that. Alright, so the movie Safe stars Jason Statham and it involves him kicking a lot of ass. Right there I was like, alright, transporter number 28, let's go. I knew exactly what I was in for for the movie Safe. However, holy shit, it surprised me. Alright, so in the movie Safe, there's this little Chinese girl and she's really good with numbers. Hey, that's not a stereotype. Totally is. The Chinese mob's using her for pretty much a human bookkeep. She knows all the numbers of the businesses they deal in, so they were like, alright, memorize this number. Alright, now go here. And then the Russians kidnap her and then she's on the run from everybody and then Jason Statham comes across her path and he needs to protect her. Because Jason Statham is a guy who is really down on his luck. He has nothing to live for. So when he sees this little girl in trouble, he's like, all right, that gives me something to do. After that, it gives him something to live for. So you have Jason Statham protecting this girl, and then you have the Chinese mob, the Russian mob, and the cops all coming after them. Cops are all like corrupt and shit. Then Jason Statham gets to kick a lot of ass, and we all love seeing that. And I expected that in a movie like this, but he really kicks ass. Like, you know, in that Liam Neeson from Taken kind of way, you're like, yeah, I wouldn't cross this guy. He's taking out armies of mobsters. One of my gripes about the movie is really the shaky cam. There's a lot of shaky cam in this movie, but the sound effects really make up for it. Shaky cam, sure, and you're like, alright, can't focus, can't focus, but when you hear bones starting to pop, you're like, I know what's happening though. That's clearly the sound of teeth hitting the ground. Thanks, sound effect guy. And the gunshots in this movie sound really good too. When a gun goes off, you're all, pop. Mmm, yeah, Dolby Digital, baby. Yeah, that's a Glock. That's... Whew. When bones get broken, that sounds awesome. When feet hit faces, that sounds awesome. When fists hit faces, that's awesome. When guns go off, that's awesome. When cars hit cars, that's awesome. It all sounds really good. And the movie's as long as it needs to be, too. It's about an hour and a half long. If it were any longer than that, I'd be like, all right, don't try to be something you're not. If it were any shorter than that, I'd be like, why'd I pay to see a movie that short? Chimpanzee. When I was going into this movie, I knew what I was getting into, but I got a lot more than I thought I would. This movie is a good kick-ass movie. Is it original? No. Just think of it as like, you know, turn Terminator. He has to protect the little kid. But instead of one Terminator, you have two groups of mobsters and corrupt cops all going after the kid. That's not bad. As far as Jason Statham action movies go, this is one of the better ones, for sure. I will say safe is a good time, no alcohol required. In a world of cliche Jason Statham action movie transporter number 38, the movie safe surprised the hell out of me. So your favorite Jason Statham action movie, what is it? Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more. Remember though, next week, Avengers.